Europe's relations with Russia have been frosty for several years now, so Siberia is a symbolic place for a summit. When the relation is very intense, here and there, there can be some difficulties. Europe's delegation this time includes the Slovenian Prime Minister, the High Representative and three commissioners, including hardcore negotiator and trade commissioner Pidel Mandelson. As they arrive for the two-day meeting in the city of Kantimansisk, Russia continues to chide the EU for its internal divisions, seen as its biggest weakness. Europe wants to make a fist against Russia to protest the border violations in Georgia, but it's unable to do so effectively. The EU remains divided over Kosovo's independence, and that division gives Russia the perfect argument to deal with any criticism over Georgia. The Siberian city of Kanti also is symbolic for another reason. It is the capital of a region that produces more than half of Russia's oil. And energy is just what Europe needs from Russia. It already was agreed in advance that at this summit, the two sides would officially agree to start talks on a new strategic partnership. These talks will now start next month. This is a good basis for this uh, relaunched, retuned partnership with Russia, where we start now with uh, the negotiations of and new agreement with Russia that should be comprehensive and substantial. We see it as a strategic partnership and in fact now we are opening a new chapter, we are now launching the negotiations for a new agreement with Russia, comprehensive agreement with the um, binding uh, chapters and this I believe very important for the future. It's not only been a recital of known uh, positions but a genuine conversation. Obstacles to the new talks are becoming already visible. Russia's new president has hinted that the EU's internal divisions, and specifically the Irish no over the Lisbon Treaty, could damage the new round of negotiations. It all means that Europe's new talks with Russia are going to be very fragile. Even summer days in Siberia are not necessarily pleasant. Raymond Franken for EUXTV.